Hey folks, Larry Wingett here. I want to talk to you about something most people just don't do. They don't work very hard on themselves. There are a lot of folks out there, I see them all the time, they work real hard on their job. Good for you. You ought to work hard on your job. I don't care who's paying you, you ought to work hard at it. But, most people really slack when it comes to working on themselves. Now, you say, no, Larry, I'll go to the gym every day. Okay, meathead. I, and I'm not saying you're meathead if you go to the gym. I'm just saying, that's not what I'm talking about here. Good, you go to the gym. I'm proud of you. I've talked before about how we all need to exercise more. I certainly do. You probably do, too. I'm talking about working on you, who you are. You see, most people don't spend much time working on who they are. Or they say, no, Larry, I, I got company training. Okay, good. You know how to do your job now. But listen, the way you succeed in life, what makes you successful ultimately in life is not going to be the, the, the skill that you have perfected. Certainly that contributes to it, but it's going to all be based on what kind of a human being, what kind of a person, what kind of a man or woman you are. Ultimately, that determines everything. So work on you. I see employers make this mistake all the time. They sit back and say, well, I'm going to teach my employees how to, to do this, this, and this. And it's, like, it's great, good. You ought to be educating them and training them. But mostly we train around business skills, job skills, but we don't give people good life skills. That's what I'm talking about. How are your life skills improving? You see, I believe if I teach somebody how to manage priorities, which ultimately becomes how you manage your time. I'm not a big time management guy, but I do believe helping people understand what their priorities are determines how they spend their time. But if I help people do that, then they'll be able to get more done. Now, will that help me as the employer? Of course it will. But will it help them as the person so they can get more done at home, so they can have more time to spend with their family, and with their husband, with their wife, and so forth? All, uh, yes, it'll do all of that. If I teach people how to set and achieve, not just set goals, but achieve goals, will it make them better at home? Yes, but will it also make them better on the job? Of course it will. So what are you doing to improve you? What life skills are you working hard right now to obtain so you'll be better at being you, at being a better father, being a better spouse, a better friend, a better worker? In other words, how many books you read this year? I talked to a guy the other day, he said, I don't read a lot. I said, I wouldn't brag about that. In fact, I wouldn't say that out loud. In fact, I'd change that. Yeah, what, what do you mean you don't read a lot? Spending time in the car, listen to audio books. All mine are available on audio. I mean, hell, go get them. But there's a lot of good books out there. I read all the time. I've read 5,000 books plus in the last 35 years. I'm always picking up an idea here and an idea there, even after reading all these books. I read a lot of fiction books. I get a lot of ideas from them, too. They stir my creative juices. They also just flat out entertain me sometimes, and that's good. Helps you relax. Helps you be a better person. So what are you reading? What are you listening? What are you going to? Well, one thing, if you're listening to this right now, you've invested a little bit. In yourself, you've invested $7 in a Patreon site that features Larry Wingett and Chris Widener and where we talk about stuff. Good for you, but that's not enough either. Go to some seminars. Go to some events. Spend some money. Spend some money on you. When my wife and I years ago got in big trouble, lost our business and all that stuff, we said, here's what we are going to keep spending money on. Us. Our education. I'm not talking us. You know, we went out and bought new clothes and all that sort of stuff. No, we spent it on our education so we would be worth more to ourselves and to the marketplace. So it comes down to you have to work hard on your job, but you need to be working harder on you. What are you doing right now to make sure you are a better version of you?